What is up, YouTube? You know who it is. Your boy, Mitt, was to review here back again. I've got stuff all over the shop. Let me clean my lens off real quick. Hang on. Yep, I just did that. So, yeah, I've been working on the 58. I uh, got a chance to meet up with some of my um, biker gang, if you want to call it, and uh, put some fillers out there to find uh a v8 engine and so uh that's looking very promising we were initially going to do a 4.3 liter just an s10 motor chevy engine uh, but uh looks like i may just go ahead and just grab the s10 frame and put in a uh, ls motor because uh, i've got some hookups that i didn't realize i had or some connections didn't realize i had and so uh i got some fillers out there so we're gonna see we're no rush we're just we're just looking at some things. I do have a frame already for this truck now. I do have a line on that. And so I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab the frame. I've been torn, guys. I've been torn, torn, torn. I was like looking to do a four. I was looking to buy an S10 that was fully complete. And I would um, just simply uh, take out the uh, take off the cab and the, the bed and everything else I didn't need. And then just put this on, to, on the frame and use all the wiring, use all the harnesses, etc. Make it very, very simple. But uh, that is not going to be what we do because uh, it looks like I cannot find an S10 uh, for a reasonable, reasonable price. That is that well popped over here. Well, sons of a bitch, I got to get that redone. Uh, just noticed that. Uh, so that being said, uh, I have to kind of rethink and replan what I'm going to do. And so, uh, uh, yeah, we're looking at some options. Let's put it that way. We're looking at some options. Okay. But um, in, the, the, in the spirit of tools, I've got this box here, and I, it came today. Got a bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I think I'm going to see if I can find my tripod uh, shop cat's over here mowing down on a bowl full of food, so he won't be disturbing us tonight. And uh, I'm still waiting on a shipment from my boy Stevo. He was moving and all this other kind of stuff, and he didn't get a chance to ship it out. So I talked to him. So I should have that here this upcoming week, which would be awesome. And then I can share what we got from Stevo this phone clamped in here all right so what did we get today okay so uh got this box for ten dollars off highbit.com you know how i'm about the auction sites and uh it came with a lot of stuff i saw some stuff that i knew was like snap on or mac uh, but other things i didn't know about so First thing is we got ourselves another snap-on ratcheting screwdriver. I know, guys, I know I did the video. I consider these to be like my least used tool, uh, and it still is, but I got another one. I mean, I wasn't shooting for that. Obviously, I wasn't trying to buy this lot because of that. Just something that came in the box. So one more to add to the damn stack. Uh, an older snap-on scraper. A really long cabinet screwdriver. A set of Mac uh, scrapers. Uh, Snap-on radiator pick. Another one. Or, I, think it's more, I think this one here is a cotter pin pick, I believe it is, because it's a little bit thicker. An all... See here, what else did we get? Uh, I never seen this set before. This is actually Blue Point. It's a set of picks, and uh, you can see on there. Well, maybe you can't. Maybe you can. It says Blue Point right there, and then they screw in here, and I guess they're threaded. Yeah, they're threaded. And so they thread on like this. Hey, Shopcat. And then you get a pick, and that's a that's a snap-on blue point set. I've never seen this before, 
Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have. Maybe someone out there in uh, YouTube land has, but I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't say snap on or nothing else on the pack. Just came like this. So, but it does have all the different picks: the straights, the curve, the 45, etc. So it's got them all. So that's pretty cool. So if you factor in just that little pile of tools over here, I mean the, the scrapers, the cotter pins, the picks. I mean I, I, that's well worth more than just the ten dollars that I spent on the box. Um, there's other things in here like this. Uh, I guess this is like a, a, a circuit tester, um, like an old version. I don't know. I'd have to see if it works. I don't even know if it works or not. So we'll have to test that. Um, couple, what is that? I don't know what that, another all, but a wooden handle kind. I don't know. Uh, I did. Oh, I am glad I got this here. So this is uh, what do you call it? Like a, a level or whatever. But basically, you can just pick your angles. Um, I think that's the best way. To, <laughs> the best way to describe it. Uh, let's see here. You can set it in the back. You can. There's a dial on there, and you can set your angle. You know. So this is great for welding. Um, obviously. So that's cool. I want to clean this guy up make it look nice and uh yeah well i'm really happy to have that that's that's cool something i don't have which is a shock right uh this tiny little scraper i thought was cute i don't know what i would use it for but I, it can't it was in the box uh this big uh proto uh professional uh adjustable wrench you know they, they like i said those adjustable wrenches are good they come in handy i've got a couple that um are awesome um, so glad I got those. A couple straps I have no need for. Uh, air wands, or air, whatever you want to call it, tips or whatever. Uh, got a couple of these. This is a Milton. I think it's a pretty good brand. Uh, let's see here. Uh, superior tool. Uh, uh, flaring tool. Some big cheap scraper, a retractable uh, soapstone. Need that. That is USA made. There's some Pittsburgh junk in here. You know where that's going? Right in the trash, where it belongs. Um, some like really thin files. More circuit testers. This one here is kind of cool. It's a blue point. You slide it forward. I'm sure the batteries are shot in it, so I'll have to get some new batteries for it, but that's pretty cool. Don't know, and it's got the tip still too, so that's that's pretty cool. Another blow gun. This one does actually have the tip on it still. This is also a Milton. Uh, for, um, trailer pen connector. This is cool. I already have one, but it's nice to have another one. More Harbor Freight stuff to throw in the trash. Actually, I'll take this in the house and I'll let the wife have these for like uh, screwdrivers to have in, inside the home. I, I, we won't throw them away. Uh, some dental picks. Got a couple of those here. Some old wooden screwdriver. I don't know. Uh, some uh, um, blades for a file. Kimball Midwest. So those are good. Those are USA made, I believe. Uh, battery terminal cleaner. Quiet there, shop cat. Hey, quiet. Uh, clamps. I don't know what these are for. Maybe for electrical connections. I don't know. There's a couple different sizes in here. Um... Let's see, what else do we got? A couple flashlights. Um, Innova? I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about them. Oh, that worked. Let's see here. I guess that works. 
Oh, okay. All right, so we got a flashlight. Actually, we got two of them, so we'll definitely keep those. Let's see if the other one works. It does not. Oh, it's got those weird ass same those weird batteries here. So we'll leave it in there for now. So I can get it get a replacement. But yeah, two little flashlights. We'll keep those. I don't know what this is. There's no name on it. Um, I don't know. I, I'm thinking some type of scraping tool, maybe. I, I don't know. So who can, can anyone tell me what this is? I'd love to know. Some uh, Craftsman USA screwdrivers. Another um, punch. That's pretty cool. I can always use another one of those. And it's got, I guess you could put different ty types of tips on it too. Cool. All right, that's good. Uh, let's see what this is. Uh, oh, this is the more the dental picks. Mm, yeah, it's all kinds in here. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of neat, though. Doesn't say USA or nothing on it. No name on it. But we'll keep them. Uh, another, I think this is a battery tester. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. It looks, it's digital. But I don't know how it works. So we'll have to play around with it. I don't know. Oh, I can hear it's got a button here. And I figure I probably need a battery. Uh, a bunch of these tips. I don't really know what they're used for. Let's see here. Nope. Another one of those clamps. Another screwdriver for the wife. Uh, circuit tester, voltmeter, well, circuit tester, I guess is what you call them. Let's see here. What is that one? Uh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. I don't know. That's weird. I don't need that anyway. Uh, another dental pick. Another one of those clampy thingies. Clampy thingies. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, oh, we even have a, uh, another, uh, uh, you know, like prying for your door panels. We'll keep that. So, oh, here's more of those little, what are these for, guys? What do these go to? It's a whole bunch of them. I don't know. Oh, I didn't realize that was in there. Snap on screwdriver. Okay. So, don't know what that is. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Everything else, I'm not going to keep. So, yeah, that's a... Let's go ahead and move this off to the side. I'll take these clamps out of here, too. And everything else I consider is junk. So, that's what we got, guys. Let me step back here. So that's all of our hull there. That's not bad. Mat, snap-on, etc. Um... You know, for $10, everybody always criticized me talking about all the tools I've got. But, you know, I think people fail to realize that uh, this is how I this is how I get them. You know, I think some of the people that are new to the channel or whatever or see the videos on Instagram, they're like, you know, you're spinning up your kids college tuition. And it's like, dude, I, I'm not poor for one. But number two. I buy everything cheap. <laughs> I am very, very cheap. So I am not trying to go broke at all. That's another, I throw those in there like that. 
my scraper game is getting out of control. You just got to buy smart, man. You can't, you know, if you get a, if you want tools, or you like tools. I mean, obviously, clearly I like tools, right? I mean, so if you like and want tools, you just got to buy it smart. You can't just go hopping on the truck every time the guy pulls up, you know, and you just run over there and throw your paycheck at him, right? I don't know. I, like, I'll be honest with you guys. Like, I hate paying bills. And, um... And I know that about me. I'm, I'm fine to admit that. I hate having debt. Um, and so if I if I can do anything to not have debt, um, you know, I'm all about that life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to pay you anything. Like, you know, if, uh, I, I absolutely hate having to shell out money for anything. And so if, um, says the guy's got all this shit, but I'm talking about like on a, on a monthly basis, like having to make car payments and all that stuff. Like I bought my, I bought my, my new car and I now have a car payment. And every time I walk outside and I look at it, I'm like not sick or disgusted about it. I just know that I'm going to have to get it paid off quickly because I don't like the fact that I have a car payment. I don't know. Is anyone else like that? So, uh, I just don't like the fact knowing I have a car payment. So, <laughs> I'm going to do everything in my power to get that damn thing paid off. Because I don't like it. But this is how I acquire my tools, guys. I just find deals and I try to make educated guests. If I, I mean, if I, if I was looking at some tools and I said, well, uh, I think they're going to go for too much. I won't bid on them, you know. Like, I'm not going to go bid on something that I know is beyond, you know, what I would want to spend on it. So I have to be smart in that regard and know, okay, this is what I feel is reasonable. And anything beyond that, um, it's not going to happen. And uh, and that's how I buy. So it's no secret, really, to finding good deals, in my opinion. It's just, you know, being somewhat educated. Um and smart about how you you uh, you pick and choose what you go after. Just kind of putting all this stuff away. <clears throat> I'll just kind of show you guys like this is how you do it. So, but I'm gonna get all this stuff put away. And uh, if you guys have any comments. About what did you think? How you, I mean, how do you think we did with our score? Did we do all right? I think we did. I think most people would agree that we did. Um, would you have bought it, or would you have just simply passed on it? Do you think that uh, we bought too much? You know, do I? You know, sure. I'm, there's a lot of haters out there who will say, "Yeah, you got too many tools." And there's times where I think to myself, yeah, you got a lot of shit, James. You need to probably <laughs> back off a little bit. You know what I mean? But then again, I think about it and I'm like, no, because, you know, it becomes that time where you need something and uh, and you're thankful that you got it. And then there's those other times where you said, man, I wish I had bought such and such a tool when I saw it. And uh, you realize that you probably should have had something. So that's how I look at it. I try to be proactive versus reactive, if that makes any sense. So, but yeah, guys, I'm just kind of playing around the shop tonight. I'm going to, I got stuff everywhere. I got stuff all in the C10. I got stuff on the floor. Got stuff on the layout table. Got stuff on the work de work desk. I got stuff over here laid out i was using the porter power to kind of bend some things back on the truck um yeah so yeah we're getting there we're getting there slowly but surely all right guys i'm gonna catch you on the next one and uh we'll pick it back up next time when we're actually doing some work in the shop versus showing off our tool hoard all right catch you in the next one guys peace